finally hiking again. This was meant to be my year of doing a lot of hikes, but unfortunately, obviously, this wild pandemic kind of slowed it down a little bit. Work got a little bit hectic. I decided to try and plan something on Camus. I kind of know the area a little bit around where I live in Bristol. I kind of wanted to go a little bit further out. And I picked like the sort of Gloucester area because I recently did Cotswold Way and I kind of like the area. It's nice and green, nice and quiet. I started making a, a route around Gloucester, on these hills. And I started like clicking next, 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 making this route. I found myself actually on a trail and it was going exactly where I wanted it to go. It was just quite strange and I just thought, right, okay, I'll stay on this trail and see where it goes. And it kept going, it kept going, it kept going. And this was only meant to be a weekend hike and I was already about eight miles into this trail. I was like, how long, how long is this trail? Does it start circling back on itself? Found out the name of it, Three Choirs Way. Typed it into Google, straight away, boom, 97 miles. Oh, no, but I liked the look of it so much. I was committed, I was like, oh, I've got to do this now. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to split it up though. Three weekends, six days all together. I'm going to be wild camping. So it's been broken down into three separate trips. Three choirs way. Basically it links three cathedrals, Gloucester, Hereford and Worcester. What I'm going to be doing is taking a train to Gloucester and then walking to the cathedral, Gloucester Cathedral, and then pressing start right there. And then after that, I'm gonna be hiking each trip from cathedral to cathedral. So this trip, Gloucester to Hereford, I'm gonna split that up into two days. It's gonna be 16 miles a day and a wild camp in the middle. You get to Hereford Cathedral and then stop it there, walk to the train station, get a train back home. And I just thought it'd be a nice introduction back into the hiking again, just doing you know, a, a few little hikes. Overall, obviously 97 miles is another good trail to have in my pocket. 16 miles today, 16 miles tomorrow. Bit of wild camping tonight. Hopefully it won't rain, because it is pretty gloomy right now. Let's go! So we're coming up to the halfway point for today. The route's been fairly flat the whole way, but I have to say, I don't think it's a very well used trail. There's a lot of overgrown parts. What I am thinking is I'm already doing quite good time, even though I'm trying to not be so competitive like I have been in the past. Let's keep going. Hopefully I don't get lost. trail goes through that as well. I'm gonna go around. I think this trail is turning into the forgotten trail. Oh, that's cool. You see it? Oh, keep going.
Got a lot of flies around your face. Hey. Hey. Oh, you're super friendly. Hey. massive That's day one done. It was an extra mile on today, simply because of the amount of times I've had to try and divert away from cows in a field or cornfields that were meant to have a path through it. But otherwise, it hasn't been too bad. The only thing I struggled with the most was the fact that a lot of it has been very overgrown and not really well maintained. I don't know if it's a very popular route maybe these days, I'm not sure. As you can see in this field, it's a perfect field to pitch a tent. If I was here when it was nightfall, sunset, I'd be cheeky and find a corner and, and set up my tent. Um, but because it's still quite light, I've got a couple of hours left. I'm gonna power on, keep going. I also wanna try and find some water soon as well. I haven't seen water for a while and I don't really wanna knock on people's doors and, unless it's a last resort. So I'm gonna keep going, start day two on day one. I've been pretty quick on this day. If you are a little bit slower, you're taking it easy, stopping a bit more often, then this is a really, really good stopping point for you. Set up a tent somewhere here, you'll be fine. There's no cows in this field. Keep going for a few more miles and find another nice field. This would be a pretty perfect field to camp on, unfortunately. That is making a lot of sound. I don't know if there's cameras around here, they might, I might get shooed away. I'll push on around this corner, see what it looks like. I did another five miles and um, I don't feel too bad. My legs are a little tired. The only water features that, I mean, people might say, yeah, it's fine. Literally a handful of streams and all the streams are on the edge of farmland where there was cow. They just looked muddy, full of feces. And it didn't look like something I wanted to even try and drink out of. Uh, luckily I went past the farm and there was a guy there and I asked him if I could fill my water up there and he said, yeah, it's fine. So I managed to fill up about four liters of water. I'm not gonna hesitate knocking on people's doors anymore. I'm finding it quite difficult sometimes times to find water but that's something I need to work on. I've got loads of new kit I'm testing everything out do a few hikes with it I'll do a, a really in-depth review of all my kit once I know it's been tried and tested and I'm not just saying it because I've got it and it's new and it's been I've spent money on it I want to really work on it then I'll let you guys know exactly how it is. There will be a list in the description below of all the kit that I've got on this. It's been brilliant. I think it's now about half eight. The sun's going to go down in the next hour. I have set up camp on the trail, which is a bit risky. I understand that. I'm hoping no one's going to be walking around here anymore tonight. Bright and early tomorrow, probably about half four, and hopefully be at Harrowford Cathedral by lunchtime latest. And I'll see you in the morning. Five o'clock, sun's coming out. Bit cloudy, bit windy, bit cold, but let's go. We lie in bed till it's PM. Getting breakfast.
Left here and then it's the cathedral. That's the first part. Stage one and two. Gloucester to Hereford. And at some point I'm going to be doing Hereford to Worcester and then Worcester back to Gloucester and that'll be three quarters way done. This second stage was actually okay. Lack of signposts, the going wasn't too bad. Where you have to go through gates and styles, it's overgrown with nettles and brambles so just keep an eye out for that. I wore shorts, I managed but I don't have gaiters and I would definitely recommend gaiters if you have shorts. Let me know how you think it went. Leave some comments down below. If you want to see the future stages, make sure to subscribe. Press the bell icon as well so you never miss a video. See you on the next hike. No breaks, we go, 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 go. Don't shade, that's a no, no, no. Go high, go low, low, low. Like spinning in a 644. Cash money like 504. Ball like AD24. No sleep, need mo, mo, mo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I'm a real one, my day ones. Try speak up, can't say none. Try dig dirt, there ain't none. I make the money that save up. 10 to 80, my savers. Take the top on the base one. New car, race on. Fast lane. With the boo, y'all, that's a flex. Now I'm human, I am from another planet. I'ma teleport, my vanish. I'ma wake up, do damage. Join number seven, he's bored, though. Working all night, need more, though. I remember nights, I was poor, though. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up.